Hey yo, welcome back to Miss Free Reads. I'm Miss Bree, and this week we have a new story. The author writes the story. The illustrator draws the picture. We got the front, ah. We got the back, ah. We got the spine, ah. The title of the story is Happy Halloween, Fiona. Written and illustrated by Richard Cowdery. Happy Halloween, Fiona. Written and illustrated by Richard Cowdery. Halloween was coming and the zoo looked spooktacular. Decorations like spiderwebs, ghosts, and glowing pumpkins could be found around every corner. All the animals were excited about the holiday including Fiona. And we get to wear costumes, carve pumpkins, bob for apples, tell scary stories, and go trick-or-treating, Fiona explained to her baby brother Fitz. sk scary stories Fitz asked nervously. He was not as excited as Fiona about Halloween. Let's go see what everyone else is doing to get ready for the big night, said Fiona. The two hippos waved goodbye to Mama and wandered off to find their friends. Fiona and Fritz saw a green monster, grrr, a tall witch, hee hee hee, and a bee, buzz, walking towards them. Wow, great costumes, you guys, shouted Fiona. The animals were showing off their Halloween costumes ready for a big night of spooky good fun. As Elephant buzzed around dressed up like a big bumblebee, Fritz jumped out of the way. Ah! He cried as he got all tangled up in a big spiderweb hanging from the bushes. Take me home, Fiona! I want Mama! It'll be okay, Fritz. These are just pretend spiderwebs. Fiona said goodbye to her friends, untangled her nervous little brother, and headed back to Hippo Cove. The next morning, Fiona and Fritz tried on the costumes Mama made for them. Wow! I'm a big jolly pumpkin! Fritz and I match! Thanks, Mama, said Fiona. Are you excited about Halloween, my little pumpkin? Um, well, I guess so said Fritz, still feeling a little nervous. This is going to be the best Halloween ever, squealed Fiona. Later that evening, Fiona's friends stopped by. Everyone was all dressed up and carrying their goodie bags. Come on, Fiona! Come on, Fritz! Time for trick-or-treating! As the little hippos followed them, some of the biggest, loudest, creepiest shrieks rang through the night air. Fritz stopped in his tracks. Shriek! Did you hear that? Fritz's eyes opened wide and he began to shake. It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, I'll show you, said Fiona. Fiona and a nervous Fritz followed the noise and found Mr. Barn Owl perched in his tree. Shriek! He greeted his visitors. Happy Halloween! I'm sorry if I scared you, little one. I just wanted to remind everybody to stop by tonight while they are trick-or-treating. Sometimes they forget about me way up here. The barn owl dropped some very special treats in the hippo's bags and sent them on their way. As they waddled off, Fritz started to feel a little better until he heard another blood-curdling scream. Yow! The little hippo jumped behind Fiona and shivered. P -p 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 please take me home, Fiona. There's nothing to be scared of, Fritz. That's just Charlie. Fiona led her brother over to Charlie's burrow. Charlie was a screaming, hairy armadillo. But Mom! screamed Charlie again, very upset. If I wear a coat, no one will see my costume. It's too chilly out there, Charlie. You are wearing your coat and that's final, said a very protective Mama Armadillo. Oh, happy Halloween, Fiona.
Fiona and Fritz, here's a treat for you. Then Mama Armadillo tossed some delicious snacks into their bags and went into her burrow. Grunt! Growl! Just as Fritz and Fiona were about to catch up with their friends, they heard a grunt and a growl echoing through the trees. A terrified Fritz dove into a nearby bush. It's okay, Fritz. There are lots of new and scary sounds around the zoo at night, but there is nothing to be afraid of. Trust me, you've got this, Fiona told her little brother. Now let's go see what that was. The two hippos made their way to Tiger's habitat. There was Tiger pulling, tugging, wiggling, grunting, and growling, trying to get into his very favorite bunny costume. I don't know what happened. This fit me last year. Oh, happy Halloween, Fiona and Fritz. Can you give me a hand? Fiona and Fritz helped Tiger tug and pull at the very small and very fuzzy outfit. And suddenly, rip! The hippos looked at each other. Uh-oh. Tiger's costume was on, but there was an enormous rip in the bottom. As he put on his floppy bunny ears, Tiger roared! A big thanks and happily offered some extra treats before the two wandered off again. Walking slowly down the path, Fritz peeked in his bag. So many treats! He began to think that maybe Halloween wasn't so bad after all. When all of a sudden, he heard a loud screech! And then a little whimper, too. There, huddling near the base of a big spooky tree, was a young skunk. What's the matter? Fritz asked the little animal. What was that scary sound? The skunk asked, and as the screeching came down through the tree branches again, Fritz looked up high and pointed. In the branches above was the Bat family getting ready for their night of trick-or-treating. Mother Bat was scolding her oldest. Yes, you will take your brothers and sisters trick-or-treating. You can go out with your friends later. But Mom, screeched Big Brother Bat, do I have to? Fritz put his leg around the little skunk. See, that's all you heard. It was the bats, the little hippo explained. There are lots of scary sounds around the zoo at night, but they aren't anything to be afraid of. Right, Fiona? That's right, the proud big sister replied. Then Fiona asked the little skunk to join them trick-or-treating. Yes, 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 squeaked the skunk. Come on, you two, let's go trick-or-treating. We've got this, said Fiona. And off they went, Fiona, Fritz, and their new little friend to join the other animals on Halloween adventures. Later that night, back at Hippo Cove, Fiona and Fritz showed Mama all the great treats they received trick-or-treating. Fritz gave a big baby hippo yawn. I love Halloween, he said, forgetting all the scary parts. I shared some of my treats with Sloth, Mama, said Fiona. She just couldn't keep up with us. I'm glad you had fun tonight, my loves. Now it's time for bed. Just as the three hippos began to settle down for the night, they heard some very strange noises. Chomp, chomp, slurp, slurp, burp. There, tucked away in the corner, was Little Skunk, eating every last treat in his goodie bag. Burp! Fritz giggled. He must have followed us home. Chomp, chomp. Slurp, slurp, burp. Happy Halloween, my little trick-or-treaters. Sleep tight. And they did. The end. And that's the end of our story, my little bookworms. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you enjoyed reading Happy Halloween, Fiona, with me, check out the link in the description and we can read it together. Remember. Reading is a magical adventure that could take you anywhere you want to go. 
So keep reading and exploring new worlds. Until next time, farewell, my friends. Subscribe and like. Comment what book you'd like to hear next. Miss Bree Reads. Miss Bree Reads. Miss Bree Reads. Stay curious and spread the joy. <laughs>